All right, today, everybody, we are going to be going over the awesome development in Berquillum Station. Uh, this is Elmwood. Um, this is a fantastic opportunity to get into a pre-sale very close to Berquillum Station. As we'll see here, we're going to go over um, some of the floor plans. We're going to be going over some of the sales, the price per square foot, uh, the pros and cons of the development, in my opinion. Um, so stick around. This is going to be an exciting opportunity if you are interested in the Berquillum area. So let's go over the concept first. Um, here's a little video of what it's going to be looking like. Um, right now we're looking at Clark Road and the cost of Como Lake. This is the development here. Uh, this is Como Lake going down to Burnaby and this is Clark also going down to Burnaby to Lowheat Station. Um, so it's right, like I said, on the corner of that. Um, let's just scroll down a little bit more. Oh, they're gonna ask us for interest. So let's go to Berquillum. So if you don't know where Berquillum is, it's the west side of Coquitlam. Um, what, right now they're developing this area uh, with lots of new towers, buildings, developments. They're basically densifying it. Um, so here's the Elmwood development, like I said, on the Como, corner of Como Lake and Clark. Como does turn into Broadway. Uh, and we also have North Road that from Clark going downwards. Um, this is where the new YMCA is, if you know where the Vancouver Golf Club is right here. Um, and uh, to our more west is Burnaby. So the great part about this development, as we can see, it's right on the Millennium Skytrain. Um, this is Burquitlam, the Millennium Line they call it. Burquitlam Station, literally a three minute walk. I do the walk to show you. Uh, the next stop would be Lougheed Station in uh, Burnaby and the next one production Lakeway if we want to go east toward Port Moody the next stop is Moody Station So very convenient in that sense um, There is a few parks within the region uh, Alyssa Park, Miller Park, Mountain View Park, Coquitlam Playground So places to walk the dog and bring the kids so it's nice in that family uh, aspect as well um, And let's go down to our interiors some interesting floor plans we have here So the units are a little bit smaller for the ones I've found um, so yeah, for the junior one in bed, uh, let's just go straight to the wall floor plans. So let's take a look. So this is a one in den. How about we start with the one in den? So this is going to be about 573 to 583 square feet, 132 to 205 square foot deck. Uh, and this is going to be on the second floor. So you're basically not having a view at this point. Let's take a look at the floor plan here. So this is what we're kind of be looking at. So here's the entry. Uh, like I said, this is a one in den. The den comes out here. So this kind of showed you if you had a computer and desk in here, you'd have a little bit of space, maybe like a small cabinet here. But definitely good if you are looking to, you know, work from home or want something like that. Uh, kitchen's going to be lined out on this right hand side here. Um, so you have a kitchen and living really put together because it is a smaller unit. You could have a smaller dining room table, one bath and then one bedroom and this is where your balcony is going to look like uh, walls to two level four so it's going to go a little farther out actually it's going to be right here for the second floor so from here to here oh it's going to go all the way it is wow it's solid um, balcony perfect um so yeah that's one that looks is the one in den um, plans let's look at a just a junior one bed one bath this is 450 square feet as you can see here, it looks a little just tighter. Um, we have the entry here, we have the washer and dryer, the bathroom right off the start. Uh, then we come through and our bedroom is right here. This is our door, I believe, or maybe it's the main door. Kind of hard to see really. Uh, and then you have your kitchen set up right here, uh, your living room and dining room all together as one, and your balcony. This is my opinion, just like a studio. Um, very small, but... Uh, can do the work do the trick so let's just look at a regular one bed one bath this is going to be between 643 square feet total 700 but uh, the interior is still just around that 500 square feet again another floor plan here entry we got the washer or the kitchen on the left yeah, dishwasher right here dining room bathroom bedroom and then we have living room and straight to balcony so you know it is a concrete build. They are going to be a little smaller units because they're trying to get so many floors in. Um, but let's take ourselves and look at maybe a little bigger unit. 783 square feet. So this is going to be the two bedroom, two bath. Um, where's our entry? There's our entry. So we're entering right here. This is like a towel room. Uh, or take off your shirt or your jacket. Uh, we come in. 
we're looking at the back, we're looking at a bedroom here, we're walking through, we have more of like a home setting, uh, so this rear of my great kitchen is going to be here, obviously one bedroom on the right hand side, walk through the living room, and then one principal bedroom right here. So I guess with this is going to be considered our master bedroom, we have a walk-in closet and a nice ensuite because it's all connected, a uh, nice side living room here, and a little bit of balcony on this side here. So that is our floor plans. Um, I'll give it a quick insight on some of the amenities. Um, uh, so this is just looks like on the, the main floor where you get your mail. It's going to try to look pretty sleek and good looking. Uh, it's going to be landscaped quite nicely on the bottom floor because it's going to be that office retail almost like I can see like a Starbucks going in there, some type of local waves cafe. Uh, so we're going to have 17 square feet uh, plaza. The plaza are continuous system guards run, run in parallel with seat edges faces inward serving as landmark neighborhood flowers. Yada yada yada. They're just going to have it nice and obsolete. Um, this would look really nice because this is right underneath the sky tree. Right here, there's really nothing. It's kind of dirty. Um, they have all these fences up, as you'll see in my video right here. Um, so this is what it's going to be look like on the outside side. Now they're talking about more flowers, which I'm not really interested in. Unfortunately, I'm sure some people are. This is actually going to be a um, putting green. I think this was on the third or fourth floor, maybe fifth. Oh, so here we go. Wow, level six. Uh, the park club uh, offers intimate boutique style fitness. So they're going to have the gym on this style, um, a sauna, storage lockers, expansion full height windows, so open windows, to an outdoor terrace where, where uh, residents can practice their putting. So if you're a, part, a putting guy. Hopefully that works. So a little look on the gym. This looks like a little yoga studio. There's a putty green for you. Uh, a little bit of view here on the sixth floor as well. Um, and then we don't have to go for the full amenity map, but I just wanted to show you what's like a little fireplace out here. It's places to hang out, barbecue. Uh, this is probably like one of the rooms you can just rent out if you want like a birthday party, or maybe it'll just be to, to hang out. Um, I guess we can go to sales. We will see what this is. Oh, they're just gonna go over some, if this home's right for you. Uh, it's not starting at 448.99, uh, not right now. So I'm gonna take you guys to a video that I went, made. I went down to the development, checked it out, and now you can see um, what it actually looks like uh, first time being there. We are at the Elmwood development lot uh, at the corner of Clark and Como Lake Avenue. Uh, this development is built by Marcone. It's going to be complete in 2026. As you can see, it's right here behind me. Uh, it's going to be a 38, uh, 38 story tower, over 335 units. Uh, like I said, it's going to complete the very start of 2026. Um, uh, the, the one bedrooms are going to be starting just around that 630 mark for like a 500 square foot unit. Uh, the two bedrooms are around that $750,000 mark. Uh, and let's go do a tour. long it will take to get to the Perquitlam Sky Train Station in Safeway. Wake. Wake. So that was about a 45 second um, walk uh, to the Safeway here. This is the front door to get upstairs. Well, it was about a three minute walk in total or another two minutes past the Safeway. So I'd roughly say three minutes to walk down to the Perquitlam Skytrain Station. I'm standing in the Perquitlam Plaza and that's actually the new YMCA that's gonna be done at the very start of 2023. So which is probably another three minute walk that way. So six minutes to the new YMCA. Also have banks, uh, we got Freshy, Dental, Bakeries, uh, Pizza Place here, Pizza Factory. So there's more than just the Safeway and the uh, Skytrain. Uh, there is places to eat, little shops uh, within walking distance. 
welcome back. I hope that video kind of showed you um, what it looks like right now in person. Obviously, it's not even being started on. Um, it's just an empty lot, but I wanted to show you how close it was to the SkyTrain, the Safeway. Um, I know lots of Dillman's kind of say, oh, it's right beside, but literally, as you can see, it was so close to walk to both areas, to the YMCA. It's not going to be super far at all. Um, but let's go back to um, the price. You know, that's such an important thing is, are we getting the best bang for a buck for this development? So we're going to be looking under the stat center. Uh, we're going to be looking at the price per square foot comparables, what they're selling at right now, and what you're, what they're selling at, and what they're what the Elmwood is trying to sell it at. So if we go to Elmwood uh, on BuzzBuzz, we're going to show that these one bedrooms around 500 square feet are about $1,235 $1, square foot. Um, which I already know is going to be high. I haven't even done this yet. I know it's going to be higher than what it is now. Um, this is quite a bit higher. My guess is this right now they're selling at about a thousand per square foot. Um, but let's go take a look. So we're not just going to use Coquitlam. We are going to be using West Coquitlam. Um, we're going to be looking at new construction. Um, how much is that one? Five. So we're going to be looking between five forty nine to seven hundred eight thousand dollar price range. Uh, we are looking at apartment. It is smaller than 800, 900 square feet and is one better fewer. Um, is this right? Da, 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 da. No, we are we need price per square foot. So yeah, it's $950 right now as of December 2020 um, for uh, the apartments. So like I said, it was about 1200 uh, a square foot, 1235. Right now it's between, it's around 950. And if we looked at last month in August, it was 1185. So it does jump in price because it's, it's kind of hard to tell, you know, each month. Because it basically what they're basing this on is what other new products sold at. So if there's not a lot of sales, it's hard to see. Um, but yeah, as you can see, my guess was a thousand. It's, it's anywhere between, yeah, 940. It's all the way up to 11.85 right now. It's at, in September 22 at 9.48, but across like let's say let's go three years. This doesn't even help us that much. It is around a thousand, maybe 1100 right now. So I know it's at least 100 to 200 square feet more expensive. Um, that is factoring. These are the prices at new properties now. This is going to be about four, almost three and a half, four years out. Um, so the price can go up from then. Um, but right now, as we look at it, the price is higher than what the actual new units are selling uh, in this September 2022. Alrighty, now that we've done the price per square foot, uh, let's dive into what some of the sales are right now in West Coquitlam. Um, so we're going to be looking, we're going to be comparing it though to this C1 a floor plan, uh, which is 500 square feet. 5 to 10 square feet for 630 so we're basically looking at any property in West Coquitlam around that 500 uh, square foot mark uh, we are gonna be looking at newer property um, so let's just let's look at it with 700,000 tops and let's go 50 just to give ourselves a brighter range uh, we're gonna be looking in Coquitlam this is the MLS by the way so um, Unfortunately, most people won't have access to this. We're gonna be looking at for one bedroom, one bath. That's kind of it. Uh, remember, we're gonna be looking probably between 460 square feet. To, let's go 538, because that was 510. Approximately, you're built. Let's go 2015. Uh, it doesn't really matter. So here we got eight active, but we don't really want to look at active right now. We want to see what's selling. And we want to see what's selling not years ago. We want to see what's selling in let's say last 90 days. So we got five things to look at. Alrighty, let's take ourselves a look. Ooh, we have a high of 635. So Foster, this is a 2020 build, which is gonna I know this one's by Bose, isn't it? So it's a great build. So around actually the same square footage, 517 square feet. Uh, this is gonna be on the 13th floor. This sold for 555. So nowhere close to that. Um, 6 630 mark this is the low heat heights too again this is 2020 we do have a 2026 product uh so 555 is probably the same building everything um we have a 587 uh it's sold in september one bedroom one bath 517 square feet we have a here we go 2026 there we go that's great uh, on claremont 14th floor 
630, let's see how big the square foot So a little bit bigger, 20 square foot bigger. Um, uh, this is a, like I said, by on the Claremont. This is a Lena by Strand, which is actually right behind the development. So they got 630 in August for the same type of product. Uh, one bedroom, one bath. Um, this is a little farther from the SkyTrain. Um, literally the next street down goes Elm one and then Claremont. Um, but wow. So they got five, five thirty. So and they got six thirty for it at a 530 square foot unit. So that's pretty close. Uh, not, that's really close to be fair. And then the last one is by Westview. This is 2021, 630,000. It's going to be a bigger unit, isn't it? Oh, 530 square feet again. So you know what? They're actually selling within range of that 630 mark. Um, I thought it was going to be a little bit lower. Um, as you can see, this is a nice unit as well. But these sales, um, we have an average of what? So five sold price at 591 there and a high of 630, a low of 587. So yeah, that 630 mark uh, isn't super far off, but I do believe it's a little bit high. Uh, I would like to see it around that 615, 600. Um, but all in all, this is actually not too bad. I do want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I really do help, hope this helps you guys. Uh, please follow if you are into pre-sales or want to learn more about it. Or I'm going to be posting more pre-sales um, within Port Coquitlam, Port Moody, Port Coquitlam, Vancouver, even the Fraser Valley. So stay tuned for those. I think there's going to be some great opportunities out coming. Um, so make sure you follow, subscribe, whatever you need to do to see the newest stuff that I'm going to be posting. But again, I hope this helps you in any way possible. And thank you so much. Bye now.